Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY. I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a big welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything that's needed for today's project. You can also get that project on the community tab. So I'm just going to have fun tonight. I'm revamping something I did last year. I liked what I did, but I wanted to try and see if I can improve on it and make it look different. I will also link the video for last year's project into my description so that you can look at it. Um, I'm gonna, I can't wait to do this. I think I'm gonna have so much fun doing this, but we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna tell you everything that's needed. Also, just to let you know, I apologize for the purple hands if you see purple on my hands because I dyed my hair purple and I'm not the greatest at it. And purple hands. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be using is four pieces of wood that's different sizes. I got these on sale for fourth, from after 4th of July. These came from Walmart. I paid about 30 cents for them. This came from Hobby Lobby again, about 40 cents. 30, sorry, 30 cents. Um, so we're going to be using that. I'm going to make do with what I got, and this is what I have, so, and I think it'll work good, so we're going to be using that. We're going to be using some orange paint, and I'm using, sorry, spice carrot, I almost said pumpkin spice. We're using spice carrot from Apple Barrel. And we're going to be using glue, of course, a paintbrush. We're going to be using some fall floral. Now, that being said, there were two things I forgot to mention. Besides the orange paint, you're going to be needing a different color to write the words. And I am just going to be using a black Sharpie. You can use a paint pen, Sharpie, actual paint with a paintbrush. It all depends on you. And then I'm going to use some of this natural raffia, the brown one. I'm going to be using some of that also, which you do not have to use that. That is just going to be an extra I am putting in it. All right, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so when doing this, I don't know why I keep forgetting. If you already have a color on your piece, if it's already been painted, you're going to want to color over it, paint over it with another color to help camouflage that. And then you'll paint the actual color you want. I don't know why I forget that, but it's like every time I do these, it slips my mind. So I'm using ivory just because it's lighter than this. Well, it's lighter than the color I'm gonna be using. That's what I meant to say. So it'll help camouflage this and still give me a um, piece that's not going to be too dark. You shouldn't see any of the words through the ivory. So I'm just showing you what it's going to look like pretty much. So I'm just going to paint all these. One day, and I mean this, one day I will just remember everything and never get it wrong. Of course, with the one I got from Hobby Lobby, I sanded it because it's very slick. So you're definitely going to want to do that. Just to make sure the paint sticks. And we're going to see how this works. I have these ideas. I would prefer, I'm not even going to lie, I would prefer to use pieces of wood that have not already been painted with stuff. Because they treat them certain ways and 
I have not found the best way to do it where there's no problem, but I'm just going with the stuff I already have in my house, and what I have is these pre-paint it, treat it pieces of wood. I'm just going to finish painting them and let them dry and then go to the next step. Alright y'all, so they're pretty much dry, so I'm going to go ahead and start painting the actual color I want to use, which I said, like I said, is the Spiced Carrot. This, I gotta tell y'all, love this color. I don't know what it is about this color, but I am absolutely in love with it. And what we're doing, if you can tell because they are orange, is we're making the pumpkin fall sign again. And like I said, I don't know. I just, I thought this was such a cool design. And I just wanted to redo it this way and see if I like it this way too. Because this is actually more the way I actually originally wanted to do it, but I didn't have the right stuff. So I went with what I had, which I do a lot. and then we'll completely paint it all and we'll move to the next step. All right y'all so they're pretty much dry and as you can see I like I have a little bit of white showing and I actually like it so I'm gonna leave it Let's see if I can show it to you and I'm happy with them and just as a reminder you do not have to paint them this color if you want you could paint them whatever color you want to paint them so what I'm gonna do like I said, this is going to be slightly different than what I did last time. I was thinking... Um, I'm just looking. You know, something like this or another lay it down so you see it better I think you know something like this I'm not positive I I gotta get a feel of how I want to look because like I said the last time I did this it was not the way I wanted it so and I think this is what I want right like this so the next step is I want to write no I want to glue that way I can 
not sure. I think I'm just gonna write it. Yo, I think I'm gonna write it. So, this is gonna be fall. That's what I wanna put on there. Y'all don't have to put fall. Y'all can do however y'all wanna do it, but I'm gonna put fall. And I am doing it with my Sharpie, how I want it to look. Alright, so that is my fall. The letters do not have to line up perfectly on it. It's supposed to be the flow you want it to be. So I got the F A L L. So the next step is I am going to glue them together and then I'm going to add the embellishments. All right, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to take and I'm going to add the glue here. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to set this like this. And I'm doing it like this because I want to make sure it's even when you set it down. So, that is the way I'm doing it. So, just take and add the glue to the back of the one that you're gluing that's shorter than the other one. And you just set it up. a little too far over but it's fine it works you can still read what it says so I am happy with it where we're at right now you can read the fall like I said I got this a little too far over but you can still read it says fall so I'm fine with that so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step all right so I just want to add a touch of fall floral and I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm going to glue them together Like so. Sorry. So that the leaf is with the floor flower. And then I just want to run it over the top like this. I think it'll be really cute. So that is the next step. And I'm just going to hold it down until the glue dries so it doesn't move. And that's that part. And now I'm going to move on to the very last part of it. I'm going to take some of this raffia and I'm going to try to turn it into a bow. Just a shoestring bow. It doesn't need to be anything perfect. I suck at this so bad y'all, it's not even funny. I don't know why I have such a hard time making a bow. You would think this would be easy, but yeah. I mean, I know how to tie my shoes and it's the same principle, so you would think this would be easy. And I'm going to put it right here on the L, and then I will show you after I get it glued on what it looks like. 
I don't want nothing to I'm sorry y'all I didn't I don't want nothing too crazy y'all I just want something simple and you like that if you want to you can also do one over here but I just want something simple and easy and you don't even have to do the bow I just it popped in my head and I thought it would look really really good and I am very happy with how this looks already so I think it came out looking great I would like to hear y'all's opinion if y'all like it please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and I am super happy with this and I can't wait to show y'all my next project. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.